Hey everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing and I'm here to do a reading for all my Libras for the year, right? Uh, for 2023. So Libra, let's see what your year has in store for you. It says Wheel of Life. The Wheel of Life is constantly moving. Embrace change and allow your fun, playful self to discover the adventure of life. Combine your personal wisdom together with your intuition to create a magical result and feel it flow through your body, mind, and soul. Feel your questions of life as creative excitement, an expansion of you and all. This energy and wonderment of life unlocks the door into your divine love, power, and wisdom. Push the door open and behold the light of your essence, shining brightly from your inner star. Step through the door and emerge as a conscious, multidimensional light being fully awakened, ready to serve on this planet and inspiring others to unlock their star. Ask the universe to show you something in the next 24 hours that you have not seen before. And as you go through these next 365 days, well, a little bit less now because we're in the middle of um, January, but it felt the best for me to do the readings uh, now and then later. So uh, I just feel like the energy is really beautiful. We just had a new moon uh, yesterday, and today we have the beautiful Chinese New Year. So this is about creating uh, abundance and change for yourself um, coming up here in the year. Okay, so first we have the Eight of Cups. So the cup, Eight of Cups is immediately about change. So Libra, you came into January excuse me, going through um, immediate change. Not a bad change, actually a good uh, change because all your cups are completely full. You're ready um, to move on. There might be a couple um, things that feel like they need to shift, right? So you need to like move. So there's one cup here that's like upside down. So you just need to push and, and, and shift that. But the change overall is really positive for January. February, you're going to go in, um, and this is going to be possibly a Cancer, a Cancer, I'm sorry, a Taurus, um, could be a Cancer that I said that, um, that comes in that's going to, um, or this is also like Taurus energy, so abundance, you know, um, being graceful, there's also fertility that comes in um, line here, beauty, but this is like all the really luscious, beautiful things, art um, about life. And that's what the Empress brings. It's a, this abundance um, and beautiful grace. Um, also could be, you know, pregnancy. Um, and then we have the Four of Wands. So this is uh, a union, right? Creating freedom. Um, for me, this is also a Gemini card because the depiction is a yin-yang depiction. So um, the Four of Wands, you can create stability, but with two people, each having the power and the wands on each side, it forges together um, this beautiful union, which creates a freedom in a way for uh, for you and for them as well. Um, or it could just be you creating freedom for yourself. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords. Ooh, this is intense. Okay, so... Um, we're coming into April here, and it's like you forged together. This union, this partnership is strong. There's creativity. Um, there's lots of beauty and art, and all this is involved. And there's like some highs and lows, right, that you're just sort of pushing through um, in this month of April. But there's beginnings in travel and career that's off right here in this next month in May. So the tensions, there's some highs and lows, but that's okay because you're pushing forward to that next direction, right? And the next direction is, you know, you have the Ace of Wands. So you have the Four of Wands here, you know, the two people, and then this is a traveling new beginnings that come actually to fruition and some career things that come in that are new for you. Um, you've come from this bottom, slithering up this tree, and now you're here um, in front of that moon. Um, again, there's a, lots of, you know, potential success that's coming for you in the future. I think this has to do with the career. Um, and sets, you know, setting goals is always going to be something that you can do. Um, but goals don't necessarily help you to push forward uh, unless you are sticking to them, reading them every day, making it a mantra of who you are. 
goals are beautiful to create on a larger scale. Um, and then as you start to really whittle down, I feel that, you know, you start to refine what feels good and what you actually want. Um, but putting out a really broad based goal um, is beautiful. It sets the tone for where you want to move into. Um, and you can be very successful um, with lots of potential doing that. But also keep in mind, like, your wants always change. So then you have the death card that comes in. So um, in July. And so this is about transformations. Again, the new beginnings that come in. Um, but this is like total, like endings change. Like you're done. You're done in July. Um, and then you have the three of pentacles. So this for me is just like so successful. Um, you're teaching potentially also. Um, you're showing off your talent. Uh, you're starting a business. Um, there's lots of great things on the horizon, but this transformation has to happen. Uh, the mother star. So yes, you're going to continue to move forward. The mother star is not only do you have like this goddess energy that's sort of lifting you up, um, you're also ho holding a sword in one hand and the plentiful cup in the other. So it's powerful for me because you're lifted up and you're your strength is brought about by that feminine um, goddess energy. And then you have the Knight of uh, Cups. So this is about a request or proposal that comes your way. And you have the opportunity to take that quest and move on. Or you have the opportunity to stay where you're put. You are still very abundant, so it doesn't matter either way. Um, there could also be like a hit to... Uh, your pride or someone else's and that's why they are reaching out and then you have November which is the five of cups the five of cups is feeling like there's loss and there's leaving so there could be a situation that you're leaving and you're going to feel sad maybe about it you're going to be having all this abundance and all these beautiful things and then you're just going to feel like oh do I really want all these things or you know is there something else emotionally that I'm looking for um, and you're going to be leaving anyway. You already know this is happening. So like it's, you're going to have to deal with the emotions that are associated with it, um, in the long run. So don't, this is in December. Don't feel like you're overloading yourself with demands of others and the burdens, right? That they put on you. That's not about you, Libra. This has nothing to do with you. Stay in your power, um, as the King of Swords here in this December, and realize that um, you have the ability and you have the talent um, to be able to influence um, how the situation moves. Um, as long as you're ambitious, uh, others will start to see. You have, you're holding the sword again in this hand. You may not have a cup that's full at your side, but you're a lot more powerful because you have knowledge, right? You have knowledge behind you and knowledge is power. So, and anyone tells you that knowledge isn't power, doesn't, you know, really feel and understand knowledge. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Okay, so um, the very beginning of the year, um, as you're going through and you're making this, these changes that are coming, um, it's going to be important that you create a ceremony for yourself to bring yourself back to like a neutral space in your mind. Uh, so this is January, February, March. Um, work on creating that, it says invocation on it, work on creating that celebration, that tradition for yourself so that you can bring yourself back in case the change becomes a lot. Um, April, May, June, you have synergy. So this is the green man coming out of, you know, the woodwork to really show you what the potential um, is. How you, again, from the lack of the word, right, because of the word, the synergy, the energy bringing it together um, is going to be really powerful. And then you've got, let's see, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So July, August, September um, is reminding you to have love and compassion for yourself and for your fellow human um, because there's going to be a lot of changes that are coming in for you this year, Libra. All good for you uh, may not feel good for others. So 
reminding that there's a helping hand there, Libra. You're good about keeping balance of things. Um, this also reminds you that you have a boundary, right? You're reaching down and someone's reaching up, but you're making a choice. You have that boundary that's set. The green man helps you set it with the, and brings that synergy together. So just make sure that you are being clear about it. And there's going to be a little sadness, right? So you have the rain, but out of the rain comes a purification. You're purifying um, the dirt on which the ground uh, the ground is set, right? So you're creating this beautiful foundation, Libra, for yourself. Um, and with what comes out of it is a really beautiful, like, semblance of, uh, of, I mean, I like the word purification, but I feel like it's like a cleansing, um, of the flow of who you are, a cleansing of your soul, um, in some cases. So I think that's really powerful. I like that. Okay. I create my financial reality. I create beautiful abundance will be the mantra for the year. So you, if you start to feel like a little tapering, um, you can make it into a song. Do something that you can remember it so that it brings you back and start keeps resetting that pattern for yourself. Oh, and you got the deer and the elk, of course. Um, so this is like old ones. This is energy coming together and really um, setting off changes for the year. So let me read it to you. Okay, so let go of ego and open to the healing gifts within by showing your deep feelings such as love, pride, gentleness, kindness, sensitivity, and touch. Be alert to the things around you and release certain dangers in your life. This is a time for renewal and freedom. So you're, like I said, you're letting go. These changes are coming in and it's happening. It says, Deer and Elk, listen to our inward thoughts so that we can gain peace and strength to be more consistent and less suspicious. They impart sensuality and grace, prompting us to see the beauty in ourselves and all around us. They divulge that in honoring the old ones. Sometimes we must sacrifice for the higher good. Deer is female energy and elk is male energy. Together we create a perfect yin-yang balance that spirit wants in all of us. So we talked about that yin-yang balance down here. Um, so it'll be important that female uh, goddess energy to come in so you can keep creating the balance for yourself. I love it. That's what you got, Libra. Um, I wish you this 2023 to be joyous, abundant, and prosperous. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. As always, love your water and love yourself. And I'll see you on the next video. I love you.